Hey YouTube, in this video I wanted to give my thoughts on the reviews for the RTX 4060 Ti um, and just kind of the general perception of computer hardware releases as they pertain to the PC gaming community because I think that's usually the most uh, vocal demographic here. So today the review is for the 4060 Ti line everywhere, so all the different media outlets that cover computer hardware that got review samples they have posted their reviews. Most of the reviews are basically lukewarm at best to net to negative. So it's just kind of the gist of it. Uh, but let's kind of break down why that is. And I, I kind of want to kind of look at what's the positives here and sort of what do I think uh, the general public is kind of missing in terms of the meaning behind the 4060 Ti. So the 4060 Ti so 399, you know, it's the same exact MSRP of the previous generation, that being the RTX 3060 Ti, which was also 399. Now, granted, when this GPU, the 3060 Ti, the previous generation, when this launched, you couldn't actually buy one at MSRP pretty much for most of this GPU's entire lifespan. Uh, it was usually gobbled up by scalpers and people that were into crypto mining for ethereum back in the day and that on top of all the gpu shortages caused this to be priced more like 900 dollars uh, realistically you guys can go back and look at the the history uh, for what this actually sold for back in like 2021 um, so that being said who should be buying or who should be considering the 4060 ti well, people who are on 3060 Ti should definitely not be considering the 4060 Ti. I think that's pretty much true of anybody who's in a 60 class mid-range or even like, dare I say, entry level category. The typical buyer of something like a 4060 Ti would be somebody who is on RTX 2060 uh, or the GTX 1060, which I think is probably more realistic. Uh, this also could probably entice someone who's on a GTX 1070 or maybe a GTX 1070 Ti might consider the Ti or the 4060 Ti, I should say. Uh, even people who are on older GTX 970s, if we're looking at the Radeon camp, you know, the RX 480, the RX 580, there's still a lot of people out there that are using those GPUs from AMD because those GPUs were pretty much best sellers uh, for all intents and purposes in that price category. That price category typically being the 240 or I guess 200 all the way up to like 350, somewhere in there. And the 480 and the 580 really were around 250 uh, for much of their lifespan. They were like sub $300 cards. So that's probably who would be considering the 4060 Ti because if someone spent say you know $300 or $330 or so $350 we'll call it on a 1060 and there's a lot of people that did you can go back and look at the price of these things on Newegg a lot of people that bought GTX 970 spent around $350 to $370 so that's you know that's almost as much as a MSRP 4060 Ti, but the 4060 Ti is way faster than these cards that I'm talking about. So this is kind of what I think is the target buyer for this GPU. Possibly, I guess I'll also include uh, RX 5700, you know, our, the first generation RDNA GPUs, maybe the XT, but I kind of think an XT buyer is probably going to be looking at something that's like a 70 class card or higher. So this is typically it, like maybe even, you know, someone who's on one of these, you know, like that could also be included in here. But if you notice, it's basically previous, more than previous generation in the case of NVIDIA. And in the case of AMD, it's the same. You know, you, you if you're someone who buys a 60 class GPU, you're definitely budget conscious. You're definitely someone who doesn't think that it is justified to spend more than 400 ish dollars on one pc component for the entire build so there's a lot of people that have that opinion um, and they're just going to stick to that in terms of their buying habits 
So what does that mean? Usually someone who has a 60 series GPU, like a 4060 Ti, they typically skip at least one, if not more, GPU generations. They'll usually skip, like if someone has a 1060, they're going to skip the 2060. And they would only consider the 3060, or maybe they even have held out until now. And that's usually someone who's probably looking at this card and thinking, well, okay, it's $100 more than what the 1060 was back in 2016. But, you know, that's been a long time. And regardless of what sort of picture you want to paint about the market, uh, inflation, whatever, uh, all the sort of things that have gone on behind the scenes. A lot of people will say it's NVIDIA just being NGRIDIA, NGRIDIA or NVIDIA is just being greedy. Uh, regardless of what your opinion is on NVIDIA, the 60 class buyer is probably someone who's going to still buy this card because they're probably on something that's like a 2060 or older. So that's kind of my takeaway on my general opinion and perception on the 4060 Ti. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. I'm curious to know what other people uh, think about this product overall. Uh, it definitely does make me think that those who exist in the mid-range are subjected to what appears to be stagnation in the computer industry or the computer hardware industry compared to people that are up at the higher end. But the higher end, you're basically getting gouged in terms of price hikes and that sort of thing. So it's not like that's without any issues either. In fact, I think there's more issues up at the high end than there are in the mid-range. So let me know your thoughts, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Thanks.